Hello, everybody. Welcome on in. Welcome, 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 welcome to the stream. Happy Valentine's Day. How we all doing? Lovely to have you out here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to have you on the Wednesday stream. Hello. Hi. Yo. Hey. Woo. Hello, how we doing? Profi Sloth, what's up? Sparrow, row, row. how we doing? Umber5, what's going on? Izzy, hi, hi, hi. Kai, what's up? Tarabi, hello. American Midling, hello. Obvious Pechyoderm, hi, hi, hi. Nip, what's going on? Arcane Knight, hello. Juggalette Jedi, hello. Legging, what's going on? Marcel, welcome. Aragonium, let's see, we got Patty Daddy. Uh, Meherun, Meherun, I think. Uh, June, hello. Emmy, hello. Heroic Pixels, hi. Renee, hi, 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 hi. Original Oak Tree. Oh, my friend, you're in the right He's spot here. Joke. How you doing? Welcome on in. Jinxie, what's going on? Excellent to see you out here. Hello, hello, hello. Dubs, thank you so very much for the six months. Happy V-Day, Flip. Happy Valentine's Day. Right back to you. And Chameleon Sky Design with the 18 months right before stream started. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Lauren, what's going on? DK Ander, hi, hi, hi. Miss the Monday shrouding. We're excited before they play Minecraft. We actually did not do in shrouded on Monday. Uh, we, we had a few other things that we had to focus on So could not make it work Nana welcome on in hello. Hello profi sloth. What's up? Happy singles awareness today I saw who was it somebody in the discord was talking about there's a they want to do a members game night tonight for those who are uh, Not out doing things. Yeah uh, May nice said for a couple of us single Pringles <laughs> I'd never heard that before it made me laugh <laughs> It's a good one. It's a good one. Renee, thank you so very much for the three months. And Cass with the 11 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. New SMP, what this? No, that's all you gotta know. You just gotta know that a new one's coming. Got no roses, but this made my day. I'll be honest, roses on Valentine's Day? Overrated. Overrated. Why buy a flower that's just marked up five times the price for this one day? You can buy any other flower. They're all beautiful. It's not just roses that are great flowers. There's so many other better Based flowers out there. And for some reason, it's roses on this day. And they're always like 10 times the price, five times the price, whatever you want to say. I have to go to the grocery store this afternoon and pick up food to make dinner tonight. And I am, uh, I'm excited to see how many people are at the flower stand wait waiting for their bouquets of roses. Hello, microphone arm, please. There we go. Uh, Caleb, thank you so very much for the six months. You, you liked my doggo last month. Uh, his name is Rax. Happy V-Day. It's a great name. Great name for a dog. Great name. Excellent choice. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, Poison Ivy, good plant for Valentine's Day. Maybe not that one. A little itchy. I got potted tulips. I can replant them and enjoy them all spring. There you go. That's awesome. I'm so excited. I'm going to the garden show this... I'm finally going to a convention, everybody. If anybody sees me there, you're welcome to come up and say hello. But I'm going to the Garden Show convention here in Seattle. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. No, I'm, I'm going to start figuring out what I want to put in my veggie garden for this summer and everything. I'm very excited. So, yeah, Sid and I are going with my stepmom. We're going to go grab dinner and then we're going to go to the Garden Show. It's, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. But side note on conventions, I might actually maybe consider going to a real gaming convention at some point and do like a meet and greet or something, but we'll see. Do you just post a video? I did just release a short like a half hour ago, 45 minutes ago. Y'all better go like the short, okay? You got to help me build a massive landscape. We're trying the Mog Swamp tactic and uh, we're going to see how it goes. And I've, I've told y'all this is the year of world building and I want to do a massive terraform project. So we're just going to see how crazy it gets. Also, I like somehow busted this earpiece this morning. I've had a, I've had tech issues this morning, major tech issues. This is now coming in at like 10% of the volume of this one. So it's really, it's really like confusing me right now. Cause like, if I take that out, I can still hear barely, but like it's there. It's happened before and it's been like, I think water's gotten in it and then it's dry, then it's dried out. Um, and then it usually fixes itself. So I'm hoping it does because I got these and these were not cheap earbuds. So uh, hopefully they're actually fixing it. And then my other one, I was just finished up in the gym and I was going to like jump in the shower and everything. So I threw my phone on the bed, just like tossed it over there, you know, like we all do just like, oh, it's a soft place. I'm just going whoop, do that. And the camera, it 
it delodged from where it is. So now I can shake it and I hear something rattling around in there. And I found out it's the camera. So if I open the camera like and go like this, the whole thing is just like wiggling all over the place. So ugh. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> So now my, my camera on my phone's broken. That phone's only like six months old. <laughs> Rookie move. I feel like I do. I do that like every day. I've never had a problem my entire life. And now, of course, of course, it's the camera that breaks. <laughs> is that one of the is that a new one for phones? Yeah, I don't know. That's that's the uh, might not be the latest Google Pixel, but it's one of them. It's either late, latest or the second newest. I don't know. It's I've had it like six, eight months. I don't know if a new one came out. Never had a problem until you did. Never had a truer statement than that. Ember five. Never had a truer statement than that. Your neon sign. Dude, that too. I think I might have to return this. I love it. It's so fun. I, I like I love having it there. But like it keep, it turns off after like 40 minutes. I don't know what it's doing. I got to contact the seller. I got it on Etsy and I'm a little worried that I uh, I was had because it worked great for like a week and then it did not work great. <laughs> like it still turns on, it technically functions, but like turns off. <laughs> <laughs> Having a girls night Saturday, we're having a dinner party and then a sleepover. Ooh, fun. Things aren't made like they used to be. Yeah. No, let's not get into that. Overheating? No, it, like I could touch it. There's no heat to it. Absolutely no heat to it. Watch there be a built-in timer that you don't know about. I swear if that's the case, it has like a built-in like brightness mode. So maybe there is. I have the instructions right here. So I'll look up. Yeah, cause I have the mount in the instructions there. I haven't put it up yet, but who knows? Who knows, who knows, who knows? What I do know is we've got a storage room to start working on today in Minecraft worlds and things and stuff. Be sure to leave a like on the stream if you haven't already, my friends. I very much do appreciate it. I got a few arrows in my face from uh, those two guys sitting in the boat up there. Um, and we can get started, but please be sure to leave a like. We got 700 people in here and we're not even at 400 likes yet. So I very much do appreciate all of the support. Daylight saving might be breaking it. No, it doesn't have like a sensor on it or anything like that it's pretty basic so you might be asking what is whip storing today i think i mentioned it before but here i want to do a color storage building so we're going to be storing all the different types of glass and concrete we're going to be storing all the different types of dyes and we're going to be storing all the different types of candles i'm debating on wool i don't know about wool yet i'm kind of leaning towards no wool in here because my sheep farm that I already have with storage built into it is right there. So technically to me, that kind of meets the storage room criteria within the city region. And I like being able to go into the sheep farm to get it. So I'm thinking no wool in here. But that's just kind of where it is. There in the face. Yeah, it's uh, right there. Oh, no, now it's gone. Wow, suddenly I'm healed. I can be... I guess I, it wasn't in the knee, so I was safe to adventure. But you never know these days. You never know. But I want to start just tearing down. I've already marked the perimeter out just to be able to get it ready to go. I want to get rid of all of the dirt. We can go throw it all here in storage somewhere. Get rid of all of this. And then I want to start digging it down a good amount. And we need to start like figuring out where things are going to be going. Excuse you, please, sir. I kind of have a l rough layout. I'm going to pull up on a screenshot on the side before we get too far into this. Uh, where is that? I believe that is. Thanks. Thanks, guys. No, no, it's okay. It's really, really fine. Fine, fine. Did I mess this up? I'm trying to do mental math. I think it's here. I think I put like there and then i want to have a staircase stepping down yeah 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 yeah. okay that does work okay so staircase is going to go there we also need to clear this out along the edge for the outer wall we're gonna do a staircase here then we're gonna do a staircase on the far side too bring it all down that'll be easy easy peasy i don't want to get the stairs or any details in today i, I want to build some auto sorters for the glass types uh because i do have a future plan 
of I want to, once 1.21 comes out, I want to build a glass factory. And what I want to do with that is put a bunch more librarians in a place where we can trade for glass from emeralds somewhere over here in what we're calling the Dwarven District. And then I want to have that producing a bunch of types of colored glass using the auto crafters. I think we can just like take all of the regular glass and start churning it into just like put it in somewhere that auto goes through all these auto crafters and we have levers that we flip that put dye in there that turn it into certain types of colored glass. And then we can bring that down underground, move it over here and auto sort it inside of this building. So I thought that could be kind of a fun introduction to auto crafters for me uh just as like a cool way to do something a little different so that's kind of the rough plan i have right now we'll see what happens with them but that's that's my thought that's that's the current thought for the first stage of auto crafters what are we building a colorful storage room well a storage room for colorful blocks That'll probably also be pretty colorful to be on theme. Or we go super muted monotone and have each of the storage things themselves be colorful to like mark what block is inside of it. So I haven't figured that out yet. I'm kind of still working on it. Y'all, we got 900 people in here and we're not even at 500 likes. I believe we can, uh, I believe we can get up to that 500. Please and thank you. I believe we can get to 600 likes. Before we get hit with 600 arrows, you never know. Now there's another one. There's another one. Ooh, a cave. I'm just gonna light this up real quick before I regret not doing it. I'm just gonna hug this wall and he can't get me. Making a store or something above. I have a rough idea for the build and I think it I've been starting to plan it out and it's getting to be a little large compared to what I had originally planned so I'm a bit worried about that aspect because I think it is kind of messing up the plans for the the theater but that's okay we can re we can revisit theater plan like if we want theater and if we want the theater or not we can we can revisit that and that'll be okay uh, so I'm just going to keep moving ahead on this project. Here it is. Cause this is the one I'm focusing on now. And then we'll, we'll adjust as we need to moving down the road. Uh, cause we can always put the theater somewhere else. Giant stained glass pitched roofing would be really cool. Like a Victorian train station or factory with brick chimney stacks. I'm kind of, I got, I've got like the rough shape in so far. But a glass ceiling could be fun. I'm really focusing on big glass windows right now, like and a lot of color. Like that is that is main objective numero uno. Please put a wall around those or do anything. It's really hurts my mind. Are you talking about the our friends that are shooting us with arrows? No, we love them. At least it's not a bogged. 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 -da -da -ba -da. A poison skeleton. Because then you get it poisoned every hit. But I did see they made it so that the bogged has a slower attack speed of 3.5 seconds, whereas regular skeletons are 2 seconds. So, you know, you'll look a little less like this. That crossbow might break today. We haven't actually started working on that dude at all. I think the headphones getting worse. <laughs> I might have to order a new one. <laughs> what do you think of the poison skeleton? Uh, initial reaction is my oh my. I hope they add something that equates to poison resist. And then a lot of people said honey bottles can do that, which I didn't really realize that honey bottles were actually useful for anything. Um, so that's kind of do honey bottles cleanse. Um, poison like do honey bottles get rid of poison or why is everybody saying honey bottles are good to counter poison can somebody tell me i didn't really understand that people are just like honey bottles flip and i was like i don't know i don't 
don't know what honey bottles do. They do? Oh, they get rid of poison? Oh, like milk. Okay. Is it only poison or can they do any type of effect? Okay, so you can use those, and they stack, so that's better than milk. Better than milk, I guess. Not other effects? Oh, okay, interesting. Like getting rid of a bee sting type thing. Okay, so that's fine. Right, so... I should have brought some blocks that we can use for actual placeholders. Do I have anything on me? I don't know. Um, let's just use some bricks as a little placeholder stuff right now. So if we trace this to the other side, seven, eight, nine, I think it's going to go to here. And we'll just copy this to come down. Pleased to meet you. I really want to figure this out. Also, I'm kind of okay with bricks being here as a potential. Uh, and then I'm thinking here in the middle, I like the idea of like a... Like a walkway across here that we keep as like a flatter platform. Just to have this, you know? And then we, what would this be in the middle? That would be five. And then we could have like another staircase stepping down on this side, another two blocks. Or maybe we slab it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, and then we can do the same over on this side. My plan is to use barrels. I think using barrels is going to be better leg wise than chess. So we can kind of do that. That'll bring it all down. And then we need to clear out space underneath that. So these are our two staircases. And they'll this will be like our main floor here. So if we do this as main floor. Or maybe main floor comes up another one. Because that would give us one, two, three, four blocks of space in there for this. And then it would really open up under those. Because <clears throat> I definitely want it raised up like a little ramp going into it so we'll leave it like this Pleased for now we'll see we'll see we'll see uh alenia thank you so much for the 13 months i'm late but never late to liking the stream thank you thank you thank you thank you and eric with the nine months as well thank you so very much woo and eggs with the 25 months thank you so very much my dude hope you're doing well today If you have an enhanced entities mod, you're not gonna like it as much. What do you mean? The the bog did it? the bug did it a bit, or is it a was a storage building for everything in these chests? Glass, concrete, dyes, candles, all that good stuff. All the colorful blocks is my goal. Okay, so then we need to start tearing all of this down. The bricks are all going to be very, very just temporary things. And we'll see where we go. And then we can clean this out to here. It's going to need to go back a little bit further, to be honest. Um, But let's get down to level where we want to. And then we'll worry about that. Because I, I want to throw in auto sorters. And I need to get the item transportation systems. Which is you. why I'm kind of like erring on the side of... Let's just drop it down a few blocks further. So we have the headroom without running into any street things. And that's okay. Uh, Blooded Eyes, thank you so much for the four months. Your videos helped me through high school. And now over half of my engineering course. Oh my gosh, I'm old. <laughs> now I'm kidding. Congrats, dude. That's awesome. Very happy for you. Congrats, congrats, congrats. And Mandolin, thank you so much for the eight months. Excited for a new secret SMP project. Can't wait to see the fun. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. No terracotta. 
No, I haven't figured out where I want to store terracotta yet. I kind of want to do like a brickworks. No, terracotta is stored in the... In the whatchamon call it. Uh, it's in with the granite and the brick section. We put it all in there. So if we think one, two, three, four, five, too. six, seven, eight. And then we can do that over here too. And then I want to take it back another probably four blocks just to be safe. I don't think Mo Mojang's ever going to add new types of glass, but you never know. So we'll make the storage hall this distance. Why am I digging down further? I don't need to dig down further. I need to dig down behind the things. Pleased to meet you. Because this will be stair, 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 and then floor. I don't know why I'm digging down. Floor is here. Because that is what? How many blocks do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We can fit an item sorter in this. But I was hoping it to be like two or three barrels tall. That would be, and then, no, we'd be one, two, we'd be one, two, Pleased tall. to meet you. We could have this come down here, bring this down, so we kind of have different, we just get more layers in here. They did add tinted glass. You're right, you're right, you're right. That is another glass type. Are you done yet? I don't think he's done yet. Dang, skeleton's never gonna break the bow either. I tried to keep you because you're cool from Halloween stuff and you're really making me regret it over here, buddy. Really making me regret this one. So then we can go, it would be, this would be the floor. Yeah, that'll work. Real. Caught the stomach flu, but your videos help. Oh no, Robin, I'm so sorry. Hope you feel better soon. How did you hit me here? How are you getting that angle, sir? Somebody's got wall, wall hacks enabled. Aimbot, cheater. Absolutely so much of a cheater. Must be lovely building with arrows all over your back. Yeah, it's kind of like a nice acupuncture. You know, it really just helps relieve a lot of the stress. <laughs> uh, will you make a castle on the half island? Half island? You talking about this thing Cha -ching! here? If you're talking about that, I don't know what you mean by half island. Um, I've got an idea for something over there, but it keeps changing. I'm between kind of doing either like a slums old town vibe or going like a really fancy vineyard. Totally opposite ends of the spectrum, but you know, I'm thinking about it. Paper, thank you so very much for the eight months. Thoughts on the Breezes balls? We'll, we'll touch on the Breezes balls here in a minute. But Jinxie Heart, thank you so very much for the 10 gift memberships. Those are going out to Juggernaut, Dark Halo, Blake, Raphael, Sunel, Liz, uh, Amina, Nikki, and uh, some other people that apparently it's not showing or I read all the time. I don't know. Jinxie, thank you so very much. I really do appreciate that. That's absolutely lovely. Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, the Breeze's Balls. Uh, the Breeze looks really cool. I like the mechanics that it's adding. I think that's pretty fun. Uh, just for something new. I, I'm always down for Mojang to add new things because I... I like having more things to tinker with. I... I think the breeze is one of those that I really love it in theory, but I worry it's going to make everything else look pretty archaic. 
uh and i'm curious to see what people are able to do with the new breeze are they actually called aren't they like wind charges or something um so i'm excited to see where people go with that some of the redstone contraptions people have made look really cool because you can use it to like create three by three piston doors because it can fire and activate levers and things like that which is really cool um so very down for stuff like that happening um but yeah we'll see we'll see where it goes i'm v i'm very curious to know what they're gonna do with it wind charges thank you thank you breeze balls really rolls off the tongue though i will say that i think mojang should have workshopped it longer do we want breeze balls or do we want wind charges wind charges boring breeze balls funny just saying i'm gonna call them breeze balls forever and i'm gonna get weird comments all the time <laughs> Okay, so, oh, I thought that was a diamond. I was like, what the heck? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll bring it back to here. That'll be, we will go to this point. Okay, easy. Wind charges what I have after I had beans in my burrito. Dude, for real. It's true. It's true. The daily struggle. Yep. Happy Valentine's Day. Do you have any plans besides the stream? Uh, Sid and I are being pretty chill this year. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make dinner tonight. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm making. I'm debating between... I think I think I'm probably gonna pick up some steaks and grill some steaks or something like that. But I did I So I'm thinking that could be yummy. I might do a flank steak, that could be really good too, but we'll see. Okay, do I bring it down another block? I can't remember. I do. Okay, perfect. But outside of that, uh we don't really have any super plans right now. Probably just watch a movie and hang out together. Make Italian. So I'm lactose intolerant and a lot of, and I also can't have tomatoes because my I, my body's really sensitive to like highly acidic foods. So I'm that person that I, I I actually I feel like I manage it pretty well. I don't ever make people feel weird for going out to dinner, but I'm one of those people who like I got to be pretty careful about what I eat otherwise I uh, I have in a lot of stomach pain. So a lot of Italian is uh unfortunately falls under the criteria of can't eat foods we have found a vegan pesto if any of you go to trader joe's the vegan pesto they have there is actually really good because normally pesto is made with uh a lot of parmesan cheese in it but the, ve the vegan one trader joe's has is delicious i'm sorry that's rough dude it sucks especially because it happened like later in life Pro or I realized it later in life, like halfway through college, I was being a typical college student ordering late night pizzas. And then what like slowly just ended up being like, I'm in so much pain after eating this pizza. What's going on? And then kind of put two and two together after way, way too many failed attempts of trying to figure out what it is. And then also ordering more pizzas of being like, it's the tomato sauce and the dairy. Yeah. Do you use shaders? Nope. I'll use shaders for like fun grand shots, but I don't use shaders for gameplay. My goal is to make have my videos as approachable to anybody who wants to watch them. And there's a lot of people who play Minecraft that can't use shaders. And I would prefer for my Minecraft world to look similar to what your Minecraft worlds could look like. So I, I don't use shaders for that reason. Storage room for which items? Everything colorful. What are wind charges? Why are we talking about them? Uh, Amanda, they are a coming from a new mob being added in 1.21 called the Breeze. It's coming in the new trial chambers. Uh, so people are, we're just getting more information on what wind charges actually do in the game. But basically, if you think like a they're basically like the wind equivalent of a blaze. So it just like shoots a gust of wind and it can activate redstone and stuff like that. So they look pretty cool. Oh yeah, Kenneth, those, those, those I like to describe 
uh, yeah like pills that help you digest lactose they exist but that it's one of those things where it's they're like a lot they should be a last resort it's not a i'm gonna eat this and then i'll be fine at least for me maybe it's different for other people but for me it basically just delays the symptoms to be like instead of happening 30 minutes after eating food it now happens an hour after eating the food so it's a it's not a it's not a good fix i tried living that life for a while and then kept being then again after one too many pizzas was like no it's not worth it i i do like i always have those on hand when i go out now though just in case there's something that i order i the one thing i realized is there's a lot of restaurants that you go to and they don't list all the ingredients coming in the dish that you're ordering on the thing which like i get it there's that's kind of a pain to do but i feel like there's sometimes where cheese should always be listed if it's on something just for how many people who are actually lactose intolerant it's very common um and a lot of people just don't deal with it they're just like no i love cheese too much which i get it i was there for a long time and then too much stomach pain uh but there's a lot of things that you order and then or i specifically have to ask be like hey is this sauce that's on there is there dairy or cheese in it or something like that or there's a lot of times where like it'll be like just a a sandwich and it'll list like the meats and the veggies in there and like cool great that sounds good and then it comes out toasted with melted cheese all over it and i'm like eh, what what like it's just like just list it on there and i'll ask you to not include it <laughs> they have warnings for egg and nut allergies yeah i think it's more that like a full dairy allergy is a lot rarer compared to like just a lactose intolerant which basically just means your stomach's gonna hurt a lot like a lot and you're gonna like you you gotta you're now on a timer before you need to go to the bathroom and you don't know how long that timer is you just know a timer has started <laughs> Yeah, techno lich, I'm I'm un, I'm unfortunately there with you too. <laughs> okay. Uh this should work for all of our other storage because I want to do concretes on one side, powders on the other, and then the idea is I want three floors in the storage room so we can have a lot of interior decorating space. We're going to kind of have the big bulk storage stuff down here. And then as we move our Peace way up, you. we're going to get into the smaller ones. So the middle floor is going to be all of our dyes so that they're very quick, easy to grab. So I can just grab them, go craft things and be done. And then the top floor, because I'm not going to be using them all the time. I want to throw my candles up there. Uh, I'm going to go throw this stone away real quick and then we'll get working again. Dad is allergic to whey, so even lactose free products aren't safe. Oof. Yeah, that's rough. Some people just get dealt a rough hand when it comes to food allergies. It's it really sucks. <laughs> Especially for the people who live in the US. Like our food standards in the US, absolutely terrible. They are so bad. Like, cause as much as I'll say that like fully lactose intolerant and things like that, like that's how we eat in the US. When we were in Italy for our honeymoon, I was mostly by mistake because obviously translating English to Italian and trying to talk with servers and things like that when you're in little villages, um, not the easiest thing all the time. And so there's a lot of times where I had hoped something came with no cheese and it came in a cream sauce and I was just like, well, this is going to be fun. Because I don't want to deal with the conversation of, ooh, I can't eat this. Can I get it? Like, no, they're going to be like, oh, this American, like, blah, blah, blah. So I kind of was just like, okay. And then I found out, like, after two or three times of that, all of my stomach issues I was having, like, in the U U.S. with dairy and things like that, completely gone. I was, I'm not saying this is true for everybody else, but I was able to eat all right so we got honey blocks in here i want to get the dark oak logs and birch logs and chests but i was able to eat cheese <laughs> like in a little bit more moderation like i wasn't just like stuffing a block of cheese in my face as much as i wanted to but like 
I was able to eat cheese and I did not have stomach pain. It was amazing. 10 out of 10 would go to Italy again and eat cheese. What chest am I missing? Oh, it's the brick one. It's like, what the heck? A shulker. This is going to drive me nuts. Okay. These are micro blocks for those who haven't been around the streams too long before. Uh, I added them in through the Wandering Trader, and basically you can take one of the full blocks and turn it into eight of the micro blocks, and they're just so fun to work with for detailing. So we have a ton of them in here that we just kind of keep around for different things. Oh, we are full full. Oh, there's ender pearls in there, and a water bucket, and random food. Oh, no, sir. Sir! Oh, that's burden, not ochre. Awkward. Why are you talking about gassy stuff? We were just talking about food and things and... Food allergies. You know, usual Minecraft live stream chats. Just gonna talk about some food allergies. It'd be great. He's dying, isn't he? Always killing his llamas, that's for sure. Started with blaze balls, wind gusts. Okay, yeah, and no, nah, breeze balls, serendipity. Come on, breeze balls. Also, I missed it. Heroic Pixels, thank you so much for the 16 months. Shout out to the supporter server fam. It's an excellent community over there. It's an excellent one. Are you getting every micro block? No, I just grabbed ones that I think I'm actually going to use. Okay, so I would like to... That's birch. You know it's supposed to... Actually, we can bring the birch. I do need it. Let's get a bunch of our birch and these oak slabs that I actually made a long time ago. And just make a heck of a lot of barrels. I'm trying to limit how many chests I add into the world. Because those are entities. Barrels, not to entities. So more efficient, I believe, until some techie person comes in here and say, actually, these balls I literally just found about the mob now on stream. It's fair, it's fair. Okay, so I don't need two water buckets. What am I gonna do with a second bucket of water? So, geez. Let's grab ourselves one of each type of concrete. We'll figure out how we want to lay this out. Because I'm thinking on the concrete side, I want to do solid concretes on the bottom. And then above that, we're going to do uh, colored, like concrete powders. All right, so if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we also go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to move them back. I, I would like Pleased to... to meet you. I'm going to move them back one on each side. I want to decorate in the middle. Let's go two blocks back. I good there? Did I go one too long? I did not. Okay, so we want to go two blocks back from the stairs. Just getting those barrel stats up right now. It's all for the barrel stats. Now on each side, we are going to do two stacks of barrels. 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 Okay, there we go. Megzi, thank you so much for the 24 months. Two years, my dude. Purple tree. Looking forward to the new SMP. When are you announcing it? Uh, You'll see. Okay, so let's do yellow. Actually, let's get our whites, like gray, gray, black. Let's do these first. So bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Do we want to do it here? Or do we want to do it here? That's not, not there, actually, not there. There, we want it. Do we want it to the side, like under, or do we want it on top? What are we thinking? I kind of like on top. 
But I also, you know, controversial take, controversial take. I need to go do a sleep before even more spooky things try and kill me. Well, I don't want the ceiling coming in right away, so I'm kind of liking... I kind of like on top, but back a block. Because then they're not as prominent, but, like, you can still tell it's there, you know? And then we could have, like, a slab... We could do this as a block, and then we could start bringing it over the top. That could be kind of fun. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, and then over here, what kind of works off of these? Brown, I feel like, is a weird one to put in the color scheme. Uh, let's go to the other side and do yellow, orange, red. No. Reverse that. Lime, and then do green, and we'll just kind of work our way around. Orange. Lime. Green. How does color wheel go? Does it go to blue? Well, I guess that would go that way through purples into blue. And then blue comes back into green, right? No, that's not. Is that color? Why am I blanking on how color theory works? Huh. Cyan, right. I was like, what am I missing here? <laughs> Cyan, blue, purple. So I'm colorblind and I can't tell those apart at all. So we're going to do light blue. And then blue. And we can do pink, boom, boom. Now I can tell those apart. <laughs> Okay, that helps my brain a lot more. <laughs> I could absolutely not tell those apart. Okay, let's take all of our concretes and actually like move them in. Just to get those out of those chests. My goal is to clear those chests and then get building. Solid concrete on the bottom. get our concrete powders put them on the top new hardcore video tomorrow yes i was like what's tomorrow yes tomorrow do be thursday just lost my one year hardcore world oh carl f f f in the chats please sorry my friend that sucks it's a bummer uh, magenta, purple, a brew, a light a brew, a cheyenne, a green, a lime, a yellow, an orange, and a red. Look at us. Wow, storage. Look at us. So cool. I've seen him miss red flowers on the grass. Hey, you know what? We all have our flaws. I feel like two barrels of each glass type is probably fine. Press F to pay respects. Please, 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 please. Every time I start at Hardcore World, I die in the caves. Oh, my homie. Oh, no. I don't know why I didn't just bring the whole stack last time. But we're going to do that here. Okay, so... For the barrels, for glass, I actually want to go get some frog lights. What color of frog light underneath glass, just across the board, do you think would be the best? I think I mostly have pearlescent. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna throw pearlescent ones under. Or do I have shroom lights? Shroom lights might give a nice warm tone. I have glowstone. I hate glowstone. I don't know about y'all, 
But I hate glowstone. I think it is one of the ugliest blocks in the game. Like, even hidden behind glass for lighting, I rarely will ever use it. All right, yeah, we're just using for a lesson. That's fine. It's just so bleh. Like, it's just so bleh. Sea lanterns? I don't think I have any right now. I'm lazy. All right, for the people who wanted to have this, we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll, we'll put the glass on the floor over here so that we can kind of light it up underneath, you know? And I do want to make sure we're copying the other side. Light gray, gray, black. So we start white, light gray, gray, black. And then we do brown, right? And then pink, magenta, purple. Okay. Pink, magenta, purple. Pink, magenta, purple. We will fix up the block underneath there. Do not worry. This is all just a temporary fix. Let's get rid of our white. Get rid of our light gray. Get rid of our gray. Get rid of the black. Brown. Pink. Magenta. Purple. And we start with red at the corner here. Okay. Oh, I don't have enough barrels. <laughs> I need to go make more barrels. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Red, orange, yellow, lime, green. Orange, yellow, lime, green. Pleased to meet you. Now we have cyan, light blue, blue. Cyan, light blue, blue. Boop, boop, boop. Perfect. Storage. Eight more barrels. How many more barrels? Eight barrels? We can do eight barrels. What about the tinted glass? Well, there, that's not really a color of glass. It's a type of glass. Very different. Southern Lassie. Lacy? Lacy. Unless you're going to find a well, then it could be Lassie. But I'll, I'm assuming it's Lacy. Thank you so much for the two years. You think by now I would know it. But no. Pretty pink slash purple tree. Don't forget to like the stream. Yes, 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 yes. We just had a thousand viewers, and so we almost had a thousand likes. We're getting there. I have a bunch of full blocks I can just chuck away. If you could never run out of one block, what block would you choose? Like I had infinite amounts of it and I never would have to go gather it. Lodestones. Another purple tree. We're getting so many purple trees. The Fwisteria tree. Exactly. Wow, storage room. Yay. Okay, I do this every time, but I uh, I need to go pull up a picture of a thing. Minecraft. Pleased to meet you. Uh, useful contraptions. Item sorter. Yes, I do, in fact, have a screenshot of an item sorter that I pull up every single time. I took this picture in, like, 2018, 2019, and it is just moved from computer to computer, and it is a side view of how to build an item sorter, and it is Please the best thing you. I've ever had. Dread Perry with the one year? No, no, 21 months at tier one. That's That's how that reads. Chroma Holster, thank you so very much for the 18 months. How time flies, 18 months already. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've mined almost 200 ancient debris for low stones in my next build. Oh my god, June. I'll throw like a lodestone in here and there, but like I'm not decorating with them. They're too expensive. I'm I'm lazy. I'm not I'm not gonna actually go through and uh find the load like make like use a floor out of them no also somebody asked about barrel stats um hey we've mined 14 blocks of diamond look at me 
Uh, times used. Do we think it's under or over a thousand? Chests are three thousand three hundred. I gotta go find them. It's gonna be a bit. I'm gonna guess over one thousand. Unless we already passed it. I don't. Uh, yeah, one thousand three hundred and ninety-five. I'm broken. Oh, two hundred forty-eight of them. There you go. Website turned off again. I'm just not even gonna do it. I just sat down. I'm not bothering. Okay. Um. Item sorters. Right. So I need 16 comparators. We got our repeaters. We're gonna need a lot more dust. We're gonna need a lot more redstone lamp uh, torches. And we need some building blocks. That should be enough torches for sure. And I kind of did. Too. Oh, we need a ton of hoppers. <laughs> Forgot about that. Okay, let's go make some hoppers. That's not an elytra. Never use lowstones of builds because I'm horrible at building. They're a good, like, corner piece. I really like them as, like, a corner piece. Uh, Vidar, thank you so much for becoming a supporter, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Would you ever share that screenshot of the item sorter? I've tried a few in the past and they never worked out. It's just the impulse SV item sorter. It's the classic one that he made so, so long ago. One, two, three, four, five. We got all of our iron. I just built a single one of it in a super flat world and took a screenshot from the side. So it's not really something that needs to be shared. Uh, we're gonna do this, bam. I should have done another stack because I would like to make a stack of hopper. One stack of hopper coming up. Crafting hopper. Yeah, that's enough hopper. Maybe. Today's my birthday. Happy birthday, Aaron. Valentine's Day birthday. Look at you. Chests are considered block entities, yeah. That's why I like to use barrels where I can, because this world is already laggy as heck. Okay, so I need deep slate. Just, just a wee little bit of deep slate. If you didn't know, pretty much every single thing I build in this world that is redstone related, I put on top of polished deep slate. So if I'm ever digging around, and I see polished deep slate, it is do not dig there. Do not do that. Yeah, so we can start with hoppers along the back. We're only going to auto sort these because I plan to build it into a future system. Uh, for now, we're just going to put a temporary line of chests here in the front. And then this is what we are going to be comparing off of. We're going to have to do something to uh, make that look a little bit nicer. So we'll figure that out when we get there. But now, I believe I can just do item sorters in here. Oh, we have a lot more space than I thought we did. Okay, this will be easy. Easy. You go here, you go here, you go there. Perfect. And then we can just start building. This is just going to be a bunch of repeaters down here. I'm not going to explain how this works. You can go watch the video Impulse made like 15 years ago, 10 years ago, how to build it. Um, I mean, actually, I can give you a rough explanation for those who are like, what the heck? Just magic. Because I also am like, what the heck? Just magic. Uh, but basically, you take comparators, and you have them look at these. And they are looking for anything being in this. So right now, you can see that comparator turned on. And this hopper is locked, because that redstone torch right there is powering this block, which is locking that hopper, meaning the item can't go through. But if we were to connect this comparator back to here, 
you can see that it still doesn't work. Why aren't you working? And now if we do it, no, nope. why aren't you working? What did I do wrong? Oh, it's because he's not hitting power limit. So if we do like a bunch of like that, you'll see it start ticking down. It has to hit like over a certain marker. And you can see all that down there. Easy. So that is one whole side. Uh, once we get all of our dust in on the top. Repeaters are pretty candles. It's true. Yeah, they make a great ambience. So yeah, that's the whole item sorter for that section. It's just done. And we just need to dig out space on this side and do it again. all that and then we can just do boop boop boop. Boop, 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 boop boop this is where our torches come in I just like to place these as I'm going before I cover up it or cover it up so it's harder to access and then down here this is why I do the the specific redstone placing block uh, so that when I'm doing these things it's just a little bit easier especially as we're digging in the mountain to not be like, hey, I'm just going to dig out this stone and then be like, why did I just get a repeater? What did I break? You know, you know. If you know, you know, because that means you've done it before and we're all in the same boat together. I've definitely broken redstone farms in the past and then had to like go completely break it down because a piston or something is fired in a weird place and then rebuild it <laughs> just because like i don't understand how this works i just know how to make them cool that's that whole side done now we need to get some filter blocks which i do actually have plenty Yeah, I, I like deep sight. I also think polished deep sight just looks industrial. So I, I like to do that. It's like, why doesn't that fit? That should fit. We vibing though, just doing a little mining and crafting today. Everything in here is out, so we can just turn that into our junk chest. How many days are you on right now? Uh, 6169. Y'all can say nice in chat now. It's valid. You can, you can, you all get one nice. You get one nice in chat per person. The House of Hughes. There we go. Fancy. Sorry, my headphone is still absolutely busted. Yeah, it's bugging me. Thank you for inspiring me to start with big build projects. Hey, Vidar, have fun, dude. And thank you so much for the kind words. I appreciate it. I'm not saying it, eggs. I know you're thanking it. Dude, I think I actually did break my headphone this morning. That sucks. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to go buy a new one. I don't want to buy new headphones. I just got these. So I definitely don't like the brick down here. I'm almost kind of leaning towards like a dead coral floor could be fun. Do we have dead coral? We got a little. I kind of want to do brain coral, but I don't have that much brain coral. We could try just tube coral. Tube coral. Tube coral, some cobble, and some stone brick. That could be kind of fun. Let's do that. Just for the floor. Just for the floor. The brick is all temporary. It's not 6969 yet. True, 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 true. Do you think I post the movie of I survived 6,969 days in hardcore Minecraft? Or do you think that would not end well? No, no, no. 
Cobble, why am I running over there? Cobble is directly right here. I'm ready to go to the chat and see if someone said it twice. <laughs> Stupid grin. I'm thinking we can kind of do a little like need to get under there and fix those up too. Those will probably, we'll make all of these stone brick. Scuba mode. Just to clean it up and then maybe we do a little mossy. This is going to be a, this like, this is a basement after all. So I'm okay with things being a little like grimier down here. That'll be fine. That'll be easy. And then this can kind of... I don't know where we're going to hide this or how we're going to hide these corners yet, but I, I would kind of want to be able to access something back here. I like the idea of it, but I also don't want to just see the side of the redstone. Or maybe we do. What do we? What's our thoughts on seeing redstone in builds that we make? Love it? Hate it? Wanted to destroy this pumpkin skeleton up there? What, what's the thoughts? Samwise is gaming the system over here. But I kind of like this for the floor. It's fun. A little bit of a vibe. Doesn't bother me. Not a fan. Yeah, I'm very much on team, like, hide your redstone. One, two, three. Dude, I, did I not take this down enough? I hate everything. This is one block farther down. Everything we just built is one block too high. Yeah, yeah, just like one more. Just like, yeah, just another, please. Just one more, please. Thank you. We need to lower it. Or we raise the other side. Well... We have the space, so I'm not worried about that. If you're coming down here, and you're this way, there's going to be like a staircase here, and a staircase here. Just leave it. Or is the other side one block too low? I like where you're thinking. Two different levels? Yeah, we'll just do two different. I think it's fine. I think we just leave it. I think it's, I think long-term it's okay. Long-term will not ruin build. Therefore not bothering. Destroy the skeleton. That's a rare skeleton. I'll have you know. It's quirky. Exactly. Exactly. That is one of the rarest skeletons in Minecraft. You see its pumpkin on its head. Well, if it had diamond armor, I would have done something with it instead of putting a boat there to live there endlessly, but no. I 
I kind of like the idea of the coral being down here because coral is such like a vibrant block in Minecraft typically. And we're using the dead version, which is going to make the color of everything else pop so much more. And it's kind of like a weird little awkward symbolism too. of <laughs> the, the color's just been sapped out of it. Uh-oh. Those are both tube coral. I wanted horned coral here. stone bricks dude i can't be bothered to make them i don't think i've ever used a cracked anything in a build i like if you can find any build i made maybe oh I, okay i put a little of course the first thing i zoom in on is right there for the chimney and i don't think outside of like in a chimney potentially i don't think i ever use cracked bricks any any form of them i, I just don't i just can't can't be bothered so pointless the, the amount of detail that they add versus the amount of effort they take to make. No, I just will never. Did he just shoot me from over there? No. Okay. <laughs> of course, the first one I zoom in <laughs> is just the f right there. There's a cracked stub. <laughs> There's a cracked deep slate brick. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, that's good. Okay, so what we're coming over here for is my kelp. Kelp me, I'm trapped. I think, I think just for funsies, we also have kelp me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And more kelp me, I'm trapped. You need to make a crack factory for all the cracked bricks. Ryan, I do think we need a crack factory to purely for making cracked bricks. We can just input stone into it. Stone goes in our crack factory, and then it auto smelts, or we auto craft it down to stone bricks, and then we put the stone bricks in the crack maker, and we smelt them. And then the crack factory is producing our crack stone bricks. I think that's, I think that would be a great YouTube video title. I yeah, I you know what? Let's keep workshopping this one. We'll come back to it. Ryan, you got a great idea. <laughs> Okay, so what we do here is we take our white stained glass. Well, actually, first we put all of the kelp in here. And we take that, and that'll drain down to 41, and it should stop. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And we can set up a little market stall right outside the crack factory. That'll be a crack dealer where you can get your crack bricks. <laughs> I was talking to... <laughs> it a few days ago it might have been yesterday and she was like you have such a weird job sometimes sometimes i just like i'm downstairs and i hear you talking and i just like what is he talking about <laughs> i was like yeah yeah it's a it's an interesting one okay so we put this in here that should be all of our item filters loaded Guess I didn't need two st two stacks of kelp me I'm trapped. That's fine. I only needed one stack of kelp me I'm trapped. There we go. Yeah, and then you'll see all of these are now stuck at 41. And anytime we add more glass, it's just going to appear down here. So those are all filtering all the different types of glass now. It's fine. It's just part of the gig. All right, one sec.
What is this going on with the music? Why did you break? I don't know. Another great out of context clip. Yeah, exactly. That could be their slogan. You're cracking me up. That's the factory slogan. Yeah. And I need a little artwork of a stone brick that is just laughing. Just laughing so much. Please and thank you. Now I need some regular glass. Let's go, let's go get some regular glass because we need to make a little water channel. Can we do water channel with eight? We're gonna find out. Pleased to meet you. According, according to Impulse, putting compost on top of the hoppers will reduce lag because they're no longer looking off to grab entities. Yeah, we need those top hoppers to grab entities, though, because that's where we're going to be moving all of our glass around. So we, we actually need the top ones to be exposed. But RK Knight, thank you one for the 14 months and two dropping the knowledge bombs. It's true. It's true. It's, it's very much a true thing. You are correct, Amundo. Okay, what am I missing in here now? Uh, is it the coral one? It's the coral one, isn't it? Cracked for me, if you will. Well, if we store it all in barrels, do we just call it the cracker barrel? The cr the crack barrel off of the very famous US restaurant change cracker barrel we just call it the crack barrel and then you have that I also love that I've just been recording little clips throughout this that Marcos is gonna sift through and find little funny things out of and I just know he's gonna be he's just gonna be sitting there and be like what is this conversation going on <laughs> what happened to the turtles the turtles are fine why are you always asking about the turtles I don't know why you'd ever be concerned about the turtles. Turtles are totally fine. Cracker Barrel is a brand of cheese, too. I wonder if it's associated with the restaurant. All right, side note. For anybody else who drinks Celsius, this is like a new flavor that they came out with. A sparkling Mandarin Marshmallow. No part of me wants to suggest anybody else drinks it because it's not Pleased good but i also can't stop drinking this one it's like i get one of the variety packs and because this is like my caffeine was like a pre-workout type thing but like and then also caffeine to get through the day the flavor is yeah marsh mandarin marshmallow flavor so it's like orange and marshmallow no part of me wants to recommend anybody gets it but i'm just like i just can't stop drinking it <laughs> So bad, it's exactly. It's true. Okay, so the unfortunate thing is we need to figure out a way to get the items to here, and that we can't send anything across the top of this. Like we couldn't do like hoppers coming in here because the redstone would lock them. So we need to bring it in. So I think we're gonna have to have a little water channel going around, but. If I if remember the correctory, if you will. Correctly. Even if I just drop it into here, that would not allow it to go around. So I think we just need to do more hoppers on top. 
and we can just have a hopper chain going, which will then not need all this glass. So all this glass I just purchased, absolutely useless. I mean, it can go in the glass factory, which is right next to the, where the future location of our crack factory, but like... How many degrees is the Celsius? I don't know. It's up there, though, you know? Really high degree. Actually, it's spelled differently, I think. Isn't Celsius like the temperature of the sea? No, I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I'm totally wrong on that. Uh, don't listen to me. Okay, so what I would like to do is we are going to send in a hopper line that'll be transferring to here. And on top of these, we can do the composters. So that'll be coming in like this. Easy. And then that needs to somehow bring itself to here. But I'd like to extend it back a good distance, like to here, so I can still add stuff to the end of this hallway if we need to, and then we can actually add more into the line. So we're just gonna bring it like here. I know this is fully, completely inefficient, and you redstoners who are watching, like the three hey, redstoners real. that watch my Thank content, you for me a screaming. Today. I had an accident that broke one of my teeth clean in half and been in pain Ooh. for a few days now. Love Fly! Me. Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry. That sucks. You feel better soon, my dude. Okay, there's our stack of hoppa. We need to go make another stack of hoppa. So uh, bear with me as we make another tall, another stack of hoppa. Yeah, we could do the we could do a fern plantation because I do need a place to grow more ferns because I'm running out of ferns. So we could have our double tall ferns located right next to it. That could be good. Wow, we took five stacks out and the five stacks are back right away. I love this farm. Was it crack like drugs? No, lagging, where are you getting that idea at all? Lagging, come on now, I expected more from you. Jeez, we're talking about making crack stone bricks and crack deep slate bricks. Gosh, get your mind out of the gutter. What is wrong with you? We're family friendly here, thank you very much. Talking about drugs. Jeez. <laughs> now, could you? All right, we're going to do this. We're going to make a bunch of slabs. We're going to make a ton of composters. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for apologizing. I know, honest mistake, but like, sh expected more. Expected more. <laughs> yeah, it's a wholesome crack. We're making, we're trying to make a place to make crack stone bricks. So I actually use them in builds. We just input our stone, so we could fully automate the system. If we build a cobblestone generator, move that into a furnace, smelt that into stone, take the stone into a, into a crafting auto crafter, turn that into stone bricks, we could fully automate our crack factory and get so many crack stone bricks. It'd be amazing. Is crack legal in the city of path? Cracked, I mean, look right there. We got cracked deep slate bricks right over there. Now the deep slate is gonna be a little bit more intensive because we are gonna have to figure out how we can bring all of that deep slate in here because that that's a little bit trickier because we'd have to go mining for the deep slate, then craft it. So that's that's a different story. But I think I think we can we can redstone our way through that one a little bit. I have been wanting to make a tunnel boring system. So we could use that. Oh, we're gonna get some stone at the end. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. it's okay. Totally fine. This is old, anyways. Doesn't need to be here. We'll just pick up the cobble and we'll get there. No, I mean we could have some cracked bricks and a house right next to it. Maybe there was an explosion at some point. But man, y'all are just heads in the gutter. Expected more expected more from this community. How could you? 
it's the crack part of the new moss on log cult dude i'm not gonna be able to get away from this <laughs> i'm gonna have to build it at some point i'm sure okay so one slight issue is that i did want to sort like regular glass so we could build an auto but i kind of wanted just to overflow it to not build a sorter and building another loop of hoppers that comes all the way back here to put it at the end of the hall probably not ideal so we're just gonna forget about it for now and eventually maybe come back to that idea but for now it's fine sir i am busy it's no respect i get no respect come on now just trying to build a nice little factory and i get no respect here whatsoever i mean sorry storage room this is the storage room not the factory not in fact the glass factory okay that is really bothering me but i can't fix it so we're just gonna have to probably none of this is gonna stay but it can be here for now Oh my, oh my, oh my again. I just try to build over here, sir. Really? All right, he said, really? He said, bet. Sorry, I'm late. It's okay. You'd probably, you'll be a little confused by the conversation now, but that's fine. Welcome, welcome. We did just, we are one like away from equal likes to viewer count. I'm just saying. Mythical sausage coming comment coming in three, two, one. Yeah. We could put some cracked bricks around. No, because then I have to go make them. And that's the whole problem is we don't want to make them. So we need to automate it, which is the reason for needing the factory. Come on now. I'm liking right now. Rude. Rude. How could you? Can't believe you'd do this to me. Never going to financially recover from this. in there do i have any compost as in here <laughs> you're not y'all are gonna be coming in every stream you like before it was for three months after moss on log every single person came in are you putting moss on a log today <laughs> now it's gonna be are you building the crack factory today <laughs> YouTube's gonna see it and be like, what is going on? We're gonna we're gonna put a stop to this one, okay? I was the 13th like long ago, so it was not me. Yeah. Jordan is always one of one of the OGs. This has been a cracked conversation, dude. I know so cracked. Yep. Mm -hmm. We got rid of this. That's one chest emptied, so that's cool. I'm actually gonna we're gonna go put all this. I don't know why I'm putting it in that shulker when I could just go not do that, you know. You made an overworld tree and an end tree, isn't it time for another tree? This is the... I really want to focus on the overworld this year. I am kind of gearing up towards another end expansion to the our current end base because it's a little bland. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I think it looks really cool, but it looks so out of touch with the environment and just... Bleh. It's just like put there. Uh, so I really want to work on the end a little this year, but for those who haven't watched the short I put out today. Uh, I'm starting a new challenge where I want to focus on building the world, building the Minecraft world. So I put out a stupid challenge of um, everybody who subscribes, I'll place 52. You have to subscribe to that short. And uh, I've already, I, I think I'm going to put out another one because I've, I, I'm i going to like ante up like 80,000 blocks of my own for it just to get the challenge rolling. And then I'll, as like a secondary short of saying, you know what, I'll add this on top. Um, but yeah, so I'm doing a short 
right now that is out where I'm doing one of those like block place challenges where I want to um, expand the world a bunch. So I can show y'all what the what the the planned region is. Hopefully this doesn't kill it, but uh, yeah, let's go look at the, the the what if it goes viral? Then we might hit our the goal of two million subs this year. I don't know, man. We'll find out. It's currently a nine out of ten short, so you know it, it could use a little love if y'all don't mind leaving a like on it. There are two thousand likes on it, so. I already owe 10,000 blocks. <laughs> I might not have thought this one through. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go a little cheeky free cam mode right here. And for the people who have been hanging in the stream for a long time so far today, uh, let me crank this render distance up. We're at 58 chunks. Let's go up to 70. Let's go 72. 72 is a good number. That's 73. I always put it at evens because I know Java as a programming language works better in evens. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, hello, Pillager Castle. Let's get some more of this to load in around us here. You're going to get 3 million subs this year? Maybe. We'll see. I was talking to Mog about it. I was like, do you regret the dirt short? Because I'm thinking about doing something similar. And he was like, nope, best decision I've ever made. And I was like, okay. I'm going to believe you on that one. Ten K blocks is like two episodes. You're right, dude. I place more than ten thousand blocks in every episode for sure. The episode coming out tomorrow, I think I place like thirty thousand blocks. So, I I can like if I'm really grinding and I have all the blocks gathered and I'm just building in a day, I can I will probably place like thirty thousand blocks. I I if I'm in the zone and I'm building, like we're going hard. I'm also kind of thinking about once that short gets out there for a while, of updating our member challenge. And I, I think I think I'm gonna do if we hit 1400 members on the channel we're gonna do a yeah sorry Jenny I know it's not very many uh I think 1400 members on the channel we're gonna do like a 12 hour just like terraforming stream of just working on the project and getting into it and really going for it um yeah so this is project region I know we're in a swamp so that brings a few things in of grass color doo-doo absolute doo-doo um but what I'm planning for this, sorry, chunks haven't loaded in. Let's see. Can we get a little, let's, let's take this into Photoshop. Let's take it into Photoshop. Once I can get a little screeny up here and we can start kind of planning this region out. Y'all, y'all are, you're all are chilling today. I appreciate the support. And as a thank you for the support, uh, you get spoilers. All right, I'm going to log out just so it doesn't get too wonky. But let me pull up Photoshop and get that screenshot. Hello, and welcome to Photoshop. Hello, we are here now. Let me get to my drawing tablet so we can draw cleaner lines and make it all pretty. But this is the plan. The plan. Have you thought this through remaining? Remember last 12 hour stream? Last year's are a challenge, to say the least. Yeah, I think if we got a big project to go for, like it'll be fine. And I probably just won't work out that day. So I'll just get up and full energy send in here. Okay, so let's grab some blue. Nope, not that. Uh, the, the project is going to kind of start here, like this forest section. And then the, the eventual goal, if you've seen the building with flip world, and it's going to kind of loop around here. And I would love it to include this snowy region off to the right side of the screen, but I don't think it's going to include like the water or the icebergs or anything like that. That might eventually maybe will include that. Who knows? Uh, the 12 hour stream will be your workout. Exactly. Yeah. Um, uh, let's grab like orange. Nope. That's turning it. How did that happen? I, w I wasn't even on the rotate command. Come on. Um, let's get, boop. 
Let me move it over here so y'all can see it a little bit better. So my plan is that I kind of want to start with like a ridge coming up along the edge of this river here. So we're going to have a little bit of like a river valley going throughout, and that's going to follow all the way out to the ocean where that spits out there. And then we're also going to bring the terrain up on the current side where we have the mountains. I want to start sloping it up a little bit more. So we're going to bring that not as quite a tall of a river valley. So we're going to actually have to redo part of the horse course. So this section of our horse racetrack here going to have to be redone. So it comes up in elevation a little bit more, which is okay. Like we'll get there when we get there. Um, but I want to do that. And then this whole region in here, which we're calling region A for now. Sure. Why not? Uh, this is going to turn into like a highland plateau, which I think will be really cool. So if you think like a lot of path blocks, like a lot of like, like most of the train is going to be made out of path blocks. And I think it's going to be super duper fun. Um, then let's grab yellow is going to be our mountain areas. So this is going to be like a big mountain peak. We're going to have a bit of like a mountain pass coming through here. We're going to have another big mountain kind of going over this way, like probably through here around this. And so these are going to be mountains. That's a mountain by the way. And here's a, there's another mountain. There's no, those aren't A's. Those are mountains. Very different from the A at the, the orange A. Those A's are mountains, by the way. Um, and then as we get into, I don't know, what's a good color? Let's go with the green. <clears throat> this whole snowy section here, I've been trying to figure out how to use it. So I actually, let's go back to the yellow, sorry. Uh, the mountain is going to continue like all the way back here. Like just this whole section is going to be massive mountain range, like looping all the way around. This open section here i want this to be like a nordic city if you think back to building with whip how we did that i want to fully embrace the snow and so this is going to be like a raised elevation uh area so that the snow makes sense the left one is a bra <laughs> no they're upside down glasses what are you talking about <laughs> um so that the snow elevation here makes sense off of everything um I want to bring that up. I want to bring it up because I hate how Minecraft just says, hey, we're at this flat block. Hey, we're at this flat block next to it. This one has snow on it. So dumb. They did great job with the mountains now where mountains now when they get really big and tall and up there, mountains now get snow at the top. That's great. But then you have the snowy plains biomes and all those and they just, I don't like it. I don't like it. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift the terrain a ton way high into the way high into the sky so we can build on top of that and have the snowy bits in there um yeah so this is this is the year of terraforming project and we're going to be starting it pretty soon um and then probably the most extreme part that i want to do is if you didn't know one we have a slime farm right up there in the red two the end stronghold is right here at our filled in circle like that right directly down there is the end portal actually i think it's a little bit more like right here but regardless that's kind of where we can do it you can go down and then you can go over so i want to bring our kind of cliffy region it's gonna kind of follow this coastline a little bit maybe actually no i don't think it will but i want to have like a land mass along here and then this whole section, all of probably from here over, and then all of the swamp biome and everything, I want to drop down into a giant like hole, like a giant hole. And then at the bottom of the hole, I want to build like a complete custom lush cave environment. I think could be really cool. Uh, so we're going to do that. And then where the end stronghold portal is, is going to be like a tower sticking up on a spire way above coming up out of that and i want to build it like into the edge of the mountain range so it has like a big bridge leading back over to it and then like a pathway leading around and i think we'll probably like out here or something do like a, a town that's kind of like hanging over the edge but also on the water like that's kind of the that's kind of the way 
it's gonna go so we'll 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 see where this project devolves into and how it's all gonna go but like the the highland plateau is probably gonna be going kind of like all the way through here re real like back in there and everything and kind of it everywhere where we're gonna merge into the mountains and everything this is gonna take years i think uh I think if we're but if we're really going at it and we're really getting into it, like that's a, uh, it's gonna be cool. Again, th these aren't concrete plans. This is just kind of the plan that I have right now. Um, so that's these are like the base episodes that I want. Seems like fifty episodes of content to get it all together. Yeah, I think the first episode I want to focus on like transforming this whole river and getting all that and getting those cliffs in and doing all that throughout there, and then probably gonna do something with like the. I also want to like eventually redo the forest on top of it and bring more foresty stuff in. So I think if we can do that and really get like the maybe one half of the river up and then like get the second second in there, like that's going to be it's going to be cool. And then we can work on the mountains and get all those. And once the Highland Plateau regions in, like that's where we start evolving and can kind of take things from there. Uh, so we'll see. I think the river definitely needs to look wider to give it that valley look i don't want to make it super wide because it's going to take a lot away from everything else that we got going on so i'm a little worried about that side but we'll see buried ruin with only the tower above yeah we'll, we'll kind of see where it lands um pass flip left me spruce logs to collect with no leaves on them good job pass flip world is literally a work of art that's the goal and the effort to build the fantasy i it's a medieval fantasy world and we gotta start we gotta start adding in the fantasy i think it's been cool so i i hope everybody's on board with it and stays interested in it because it's something that i'm like super interested in completing right now and really like focusing on and doing a lot of cool stuff with so i'm i'm hoping that the audience stays in on it too because I, I it's gonna be a lot of terraforming videos and i i don't I just feel like throwing back-to-back -back terraform videos at people because i know as much as some people might love them not everybody loves them but i think this is also the year where i really want to like super learn terraforming and everything like that how'd you pick the seed is it random no i picked a i did pick a seed i didn't look at any like special things where stronghold locations are or anything like that I picked a seed that I knew the biomes around spawn looked interesting and that all biomes were within 3,000 blocks. Th those were my only two criteria. So as soon as I found a seed that met that and I knew I wanted to have like a valley, like with the spawn with the mountains all around and everything, like that was a big requirement for me. Add some dragons in your world. We've murdered them all. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I right, did. I'm so bad at organics. <laughs> I would love to learn. Like, I think this is the year of terraforming and really focusing on that because I already I feel confident in it and I really love it. So I'm going to push into it even further. And then I really also want to keep learning about trees and studying trees and building custom trees in Minecraft. I get very, very excited about that. Um but yeah so it, it's like i i think organics are something that i want to get into in the future but i just don't really know i don't really know when or how i want to tackle them yet you know dragon down in the mountain like the hobbit build a giant dwarven fortress for a dragon to take over i also want to somehow incorporate this but i kind of love that it's standing out on its own little bluff this is one of my favorite villages I have in this world. I haven't done anything with it. I just think it's so cool. Just like this own little village here on a cliff. It's so fun. Also, my my world seed was generated on 118 or 119. I think 118. And it does not generate the same now if you put in the same seed. So... If you want to generate this world as is, you'd have to go back to whatever the starting version I was on. So even giving you the seed number doesn't work out too well. 
Transform it to a dwarf in human village in human village. Yeah, something like that could work. Something like that could work. You gonna be a goblin again? Eh, probably not. Goblin flip had his time. It was fun, but I'm kind of. If I do like any fantasy things like that, of really trying to build like a like we might build like a goblin little like mini village somewhere or something like that in a big cave, but that would just be like a quick one-off ode to goblin. I started this world at the same time as you, but I have a spider spawner quite near spawn. Nice, nice. There probably is that probably is down there. I just haven't found it yet. I have the triple spider spawner, so I <laughs> I don't need any more spiders. I've got plenty of them. Trying to get up the courage to make my own custom tree. Suggestions on where to start. Uh, I found on Pinterest, if you're really trying to learn and studying trees, like there's a lot of drawings people make of trees, like uh, the anatomy of them. And you really got to pay attention to if you can get the branches and the trunk of the tree right, adding in the leaves around that is easy. Like the a lot of people fail on custom trees because they don't think about the branches they just think about I need to make the leaves look like a shape of a tree when in reality that doesn't like that's not a thing <laughs> so like this one here you can see that I really emphasize a lot of like branches coming out and then on the branches I made I just put leaves around the branches and it turned out pretty good so and I never I never if I want leaves in some part of a tree, I need to put a branch reaching to that section. That is one of my rules that I have. Do you see B-Dub's new Hermitcraft video where he talks about tree building? I, I caught a little bit of it. I don't think I watched all the way through it. Like this tree here too. Like I just want to try having fun with different colors. So it's granite and uh, driftstone block. <clears throat> and you can see just all the branches going out and things like that. And little, my little oak trees, the same thing. I also would say a big thing for tree building is you need to leave like open air spots to be able to see like all the way through. I think that's important too. So just whatever you work on there, just on, and keep practicing. Trees are not easy. Minecraft trees are exceptionally difficult with the blocks we have to work with. I'll tell you what, folks, I think that is actually going to do it for today's stream. A little bit of a shorter one, but uh, I got to go get ready and go to the grocery store before it turns into madness for Valentine's Day and everything like that. And I'm actually going to hungry. So um, thank you all so very much for the support today. Love you all as always. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Uh, if you're spending it with somebody, absolutely awesome if you're spending it alone totally cool too maybe reach out to some friends have a good one find some video games to play with some peeps all that good stuff but uh thank you all so very much for being here i really do appreciate it uh new video dropping tomorrow if you haven't checked out the short that launched today please 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 go give it a watch even if you don't want to check it out uh just run it through once leave a like on it and it helps me out so much more than y'all know those things really build off of momentum so the more momentum we get on it the more fun of a challenge we're gonna have doing all that custom training and everything so i really do appreciate everybody thank you so very much for being here uh we should be streaming on friday i hope so um we have something going oh yeah garden i'm going to the garden show friday night yay I'm excited. I should be able to stream though. I should be able to stream during the day. It really depends on how much progress I can make on this hardcore video before then, because I need to get it done before the weekend. Um, but we'll see. Thank y'all so very much again for being here. I really do appreciate it. Y'all have a lovely rest of your day. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Bye.